Shut Up and Dance has made my life sparklier slash better. My first Shut Up and Dance experience was with the Hens Party. It was arranged to be at 11 in the morning after a, a boozy breakfast. I didn't really know what to expect. I used to do a bit of dancing um, when I was a lot younger. When you start working you kind of leave a lot of creative stuff behind for me unfortunately. It was really cool to be able to access that part of me again. Like I know sort of throughout my sort of dancing journey a lot of it has been around like making fun of yourself and then you kind of forget how to actually move and feel good about yourself without trying to make yourself a punchline. Shut Up and Dance gives you a really nice mixture of, you know, not taking yourself too seriously, giving yourself some room to be silly, not be a punchline. We did Diva by Beyonce a couple of weeks ago and when you walk into class you, you see a photo of the, the artist and I saw Beyonce and I was like oh okay we're gonna be doing Single Ladies the one that everyone does. We sort of started learning the moves and I was like this is this is not Single Ladies and then at the very end she puts Diva on and I'm like I've totally forgotten about this song. I'm so happy that there's comprehensive coverage of the, the Beyonce anthology not just Single Ladies there are so many other good tracks so the amount of energy that you put into it and the dance moves that sort of align with the lyrics allows it to be like a quite a freeing roller coaster of a dance that you can just lose yourself in and it's by far the sweetiest I have been in recent history. Uh, oh no, Diva, 24 Karat Magic, Pony, S Club 7, Vogue, Lady Gaga, Oops I Did It Again, Don't Stop Me Now, Grease, uh, that's all, that's all I can remember. <laughs> The Almond, Love an Almond, and this one's called The Almond because of the shape that your hips go in. And I always find myself incorporating that into at work if I'm at a standing desk. The sneaky almond sort of goes in and you know you'll all of a sudden just sort of be like, hey, you know, and it just creeps its way into my life that one. I really like making time for myself to just get it all out and just focus on one thing. I really enjoy focusing on learning a choreography without worrying about the minutia that goes into it. Like previously when I'd um, done dancing. I have difficulty sort of shutting off in my life and I find that it really gives you an opportunity to hone your mind. Here it's all about no you just have to remember the sequence of the moves, focus, regroup and it's also just a, a great workout. Sassy. Nice.